Hello, Kosi fans, and welcome to Amakosi Talks. Well, if you are visiting the channel for the first time, please do subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified when I upload a new video. Remember to also give this video a like to show your love and support. On today's video, guys, we are going to go through a couple of things. And for the longest time now, I'm happy to say we can talk positives about the team. First, we are quickly going to do a recap of the win over Petro de Luanda in what was a must win to keep the hopes of advancing into the next round of the CAF Champions League alive. Then we will talk more about the tactics that were used by coach Gavin Hunt, specifically playing two strikers up front as opposing to playing a false nine. And then finally, we will also talk about our next match, which is in the DSTV Premiership, where we are facing Maritzburg United. So without wasting any more time, let's talk Amakosi Talks. Now, getting straight to the gist of things, guys. On Sunday, we played match three of the CAF Champions League group stage. And what an important match it was. Going into the match, we knew that it was important to pick up all three points if we were to give ourselves any chance of advancing through the group. And that is exactly what we did. We managed to win the game by two goals to nil. Now, I must admit that I was a little concerned going into the match because we had a couple of regulars who were out. There was no Nukovic or Castro to lead the attack and our captain Ramachem Pathele was suspended. Although we were playing at home, there was that sense of doubt on how efficient we would be. Amidst all that doubt, coach Gavin Hunt opted to play Lebohang Manyama as a false nine, which is a position that he's played before. Now, overall, it wasn't the best performance by far, but considering the amount of key players who were out, I would say we did pretty well, although I should also point out that our opponents on the day weren't as quite as difficult as the others were faced in the group. Eric Matoho and Happy Mashiane were the ones that gave us the all important goals and that cemented our place in third spot, level on four points with Horoya, who I must say that it does seem like it will go down to how we play against them at the latter stages of the group. Now, like I said, it wasn't the most prettiest of performances, but it was just about enough to collect all three points. Like I said, going into the match, we had a couple of key players that were missing, and that meant we needed some of our players to show up and be counted. One player in particular was Nkosimpile Ngobo. For some time now, we have seen that kind of impact he can have on matches. And once again, he proved to be the main difference. Now, in particular, I want to talk about the role that he plays in the team. I've always felt he is more impactful in matches where he is allowed to play in that camp position. This relieves him from having to drop way too deep and he is more useful if he receives the ball from higher positions on the field. And this makes me wonder on the tactics that Coach Hunt used on Sunday, especially in that second half. We saw the team being more expansive and trying out combinations, which is something that normally does not happen when we play with the two strikers up front. I do feel like when we have those two strikers, we tend to rely heavily on them. And we end up just playing balls into the box aimlessly with the hope that they will get to the end of them. My question to you guys today is, do you prefer the two strikers up top or are we better suited in combination plays? Of course, combination plays being heavily reliant on Nobo playing a free role and having that extra midfielder to cover for him. As usual, do leave your thoughts in the comment section and let us know your point of view on this matter. And now, finally, getting to our next match, which is in the DSTV Premiership, 
We are facing a team that has become somewhat of a hoodoo team for us. It is Marutzbeck United on the agenda. And what a match this promises to be. Now, of course, we know what happened the last time we played Marutzbeck. We ended up losing the match at home by two goals to nil. Once again, it was that man, Judas Mosiamedi, who gave Marutzbeck those two crucial goals. This prompts a very difficult question for me. How do we stop Judas? Because it seems like this is the fixture that gives him the thrills and he suddenly seems unstoppable and unplayable whenever we play against them. I also know the headlines will be headlining Judas versus Kaiser Chiefs, but I beg to differ on this one. Yes, Judas is a menace when playing against us, but I think we should get over Marisbeck tomorrow. We should remember that we will be playing Marisbeck for the third time this season. In the first match, we met in the cup competition and we were able to beat them by two goals to one in the MTN 8. And then in the first leg of the two-legged premiership uh, games, we lost that game by 2-0. And I do feel like it will be difficult for Marisbeck to get a double over us. And therefore, I do feel like we should be winning this match. Looking at the two teams' form, there isn't much to separate the two. Marisbeck United have only won one match since beating us in early January this year. And we ourselves, we have only won once in nine matches. The win against Pedro in the CAF Champions League I feel it did give us the energy and belief that we have lacked in recent games. And it is for that reason I believe we should be able to beat them in their own backyard. Now, with some players coming back for this match, it will be interesting to see how Coach Hunt will line up the team. For me though, whatever the lineup the coach decides, I think an odd goal will separate the two teams and we will be on the winning end. And there it is, guys. This is where we find ourselves after a dreadful run of results. But, of course, we still have the belief and the necessary tools to turn the situation around. And it starts tomorrow at the Herikwala Stadium. Be sure to catch the match live on Supersport. And I will see you in my next upload. Ikosi, Alpe Lumoya.